Hey, welcome to Wednesday Wednesday, where we will look at some of the wins that we can have in the Christian life. Today I want to talk about the ways that God has wired us. I grabbed this electrical plug to just illustrate the importance of getting things wired right. And funnily enough, this plug was wired up wrongly. Uh, the brown wire needs to be to the live, the blue wire needs to be to the neutral, and the green and yellow needs to be the earth. I'm really happy with this plug now. I've made sure it's correct and safe so I can do it back up again. In life, we need to be doing what God has wired us to be. So in a moment or two, I'm gonna read from Romans 12 to show us some of the ways that God has wired us. Let's win on Wednesday. Oh, I'm so glad I got that plug sorted. Uh, just as a plug needs to be wired correctly, God has designed each one of us uniquely. We're all wired differently. We all have a different wiring from the Lord so that we can serve the Lord. And we function best when we are doing the kind of things that God has wired us to be. In scripture, we see different lists of gifts. Some of the lists of gifts seem to be more like situations. They're there for situations, like when you need a word of knowledge, you'll get a word of knowledge, that sort of thing. Other lists of gifts, like the one we're gonna look at here in Romans 12, they're more possessional. They're more like, this is your gift, and if that's your gift, then go for it. So here in Romans 12, we have a list of seven uh, gifts that God gives out. Let's read it. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. What a wonderful list of gifts. Seven kind of ways that God wires us. The first one there is the prophetic type of person. These are people that hear and see uh, what God wants to bring. Uh, they hear from God uh, much more effectively than maybe many of others of us do. Maybe they're black and white, uh, often intuitive, but they're very, very helpful people in the, in, the, in the kingdom of God to show us the way to go. Others are servants, They're, they love to serve. They don't want to be up front, but they'd love to serve behind the scenes. Lydia, Dorcas in the scripture, wonderful examples of these. Others of us are teachers. We love to teach. We love to feed people on the word of God. We love the truth. We love to expound it. In the book of Nehemiah, you saw the priests reading the word of God to the people, explaining it and applying it. Others are encouragers, like Barnabas in scripture. They, they cheer others on, they push others on forward. They, they, they're like cheerleaders for the people of God. They give us courage, they stir us on. They've always got, uh, they're always digging the gold in people, finding the gold and bringing it out so that people can get up and get going. Barnabas is a great example of that. If it is giving, then give generously. Others have got the gift of generosity. They've got that gift of giving. God has wired you in such a way that you always want to meet people's needs and meet the needs of the church and, and other things uh, financially. The other day I popped out an email uh, for a single lady in the church who needed uh, to get their car fixed so they get to work and do other things. And I kind of, I, 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 as I sent it out, I kind of guessed who would be the first to, to give. And do you know what? There's some surprises in there. And it's not just rich people, I tell you. God has given some people the gift of giving. It doesn't matter how much resources you have. God, if God's given you that gift, then use it according to your faith. Give cheerfully. Others are, others are gifted as leaders. You know, they're the kind of people that can exhort, inspire, give vision, and people follow them. They say about leaders that if you think that you're a leader and no one's following you, you are just on a walk. Uh, lastly there, it's showing mercy. Some folks, they are just abound in bringing mercy, showing mercy to the poor, helping the poor, caring for the poor. So there we have this wonderful list of seven things, prophecy, um, serving, teaching, encouraging, giving, leadership, and mercy bringing. Which one has God wired you to be? Maybe there's a little bit of a mix of them. Jesus obviously had all seven perfectly, but you know, we might have a little bit of a mix of them. Which of those seven is the way that God has wired you? Get doing that, get serving God, and let's build the kingdom of God together.